Well, there has been one very senior official within the Trump administration who, no matter what happens in the Russia investigation, regardless of sensational revelations, indictments or controversial tweets, there is one person who seems to remain above the fray. Clean hands, no knowledge. That's Vice President Mike Pence. It started in January when Pence said then National Security Advisor Michael Flynn told him sanctions were not discussed during a conversation with the Russian ambassador, Sergei Kislyak. I talked to General Flynn about uh, that, that conversation. It actually was initiated when uh, on, on Christmas Day he had sent a text to the Russian ambassador to express uh, uh, not only Christmas wishes but uh, sympathy for mm -hmm. the loss of life in the airplane crash that took place. It was strictly coincidental that they had a conversation. They did not discuss anything having to do with uh, the United States' decision to uh, expel diplomats or, or uh, impose a censure against Russia. No, details of Michael Flynn's plea deal with the special counsel reveal that to be false. Flynn talked about sanctions with Ambassador Kislyak, and Pence has since said he was just repeating that bad information which he was given. And when it comes to any contact with Russian officials and the possibility of collusion, the vice president claims no knowledge. I was not aware of any contacts or any collusion with Russian officials. And keep in mind, Mike Pence is overseeing the transition team the same time Flynn was talking to the Russian ambassador. So Pence appears to be at least out of the loop, almost blissfully unaware, even though Flynn's court documents reveal a wide circle of Trump advisers, they all knew about the Flynn-Kislyak conversation. Now, some in the vice president's inner circle think he could be called in for an interview with the special counsel, Robert Mueller, but a spokesperson for Pence says nothing could be further from the truth. For more, Seth Abramson, a lawyer and professor at the University of New Hampshire, joins us now. Uh, Seth, it seems Pence wasn't just lied to by Michael Flynn about those conversations with the Russian ambassador, but multiple senior members of that transition team, I guess they conspired, maybe outright lied to the then vice president-elect to keep him out of the loop. Well, based on the statement of offense in the Flynn case, the number of people who would have had to lie to Mike Pence or at least keep from him the fact that Mike Flynn was conducting negotiations with the Russians in December 2016 would be an extraordinarily long list. Most possibly even all of the rest of the transition team, as well as uh, Mr. Trump himself, who found out on January 24th uh, the truth of the matter, and it seems clear that he didn't pass on that information, if you believe Mr. Pence, to the vice president. And so this has to be either the most out-of-the-loop vice president in U.S. history or someone who has not been candid with the American people. I guess if there is nothing inappropriate about these Russia contacts, why were so many people lying or trying to cover them up? Well, I don't think it is the case, actually, that there was nothing inappropriate about them. I know that the president has tweeted that they were legal. In fact, uh, negotiating with a foreign government under color of authority to negotiate an intergovernmental dispute is a violation of the Logan Act, which is a federal felony. So I think one of the reasons that people like Katie McFarland, Jared Kushner, uh, Michael Flynn, possibly the president himself, have not been honest about these December 2016 contacts is I don't think that they were legal. Uh, the Logan Act is not regularly applied. In fact, only a couple people have been prosecuted under it. But this is an extraordinary situation, and the Logan Act was written for extraordinary situations just like this one. Uh, there's also the ongoing problem of that weekend tweet from the president, the one he said, I had to fire General Flynn because he lied to the vice president. And the key point in this, and the FBI. Uh, what is extraordinary is that Donald Trump has since disowned that tweet. Uh, his lawyer has taken the fall. He says uh, he, uh, he uh, tra or transcribed that tweet to, to an aide who sent it out, uh, which is a bit like those uh, you know, stars who say that their uh, accounts were hacked. They had nothing to do with it. Uh, on Tuesday, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders, she wouldn't directly answer the, if, in fact, the president knew that Flynn had lied to the FBI. Listen to this. Look, the president knew that he lied to the vice president. That was the reason for his firing. Okay, so when you try to put all this together, it just doesn't seem to add up. No, it doesn't. And I will say that actually the president has not himself directly disowned that tweet. As you mentioned, Sarah Huckabee Sanders simply referred people to John Dowd's statement that he wrote the tweet. Now, there are a number of things to say about that. One of them is the fact that it would be extraordinary, and I say this as someone who was a criminal defense attorney for a long time, for a criminal defense attorney to be writing tweets on behalf of a client 
let alone tweets that ultimately seem to incriminate that client in a serious federal felony, in this case, obstruction of justice. And then secondly, we have to note the fact that Donald Trump allowed that tweet to stand, even if he didn't know about it when it was posted, he allowed it to stand. The White House has previously said that presidential tweets are in fact presidential declarations and they are official. So Mr. T uh, Trump, whether or not he knew the tweet uh, had been written or posted at the time it was written and posted, he adopted that tweet and he is culpable for it. And of course, this all goes to the issue of obstruction of justice. As far as Mike Pence is concerned, you know, he, he keeps using this uh, Sergeant Schultz defense. I know nothing. I see nothing. How is that going to hold up if he is, in fact, interviewed by the special counsel, especially now that Flynn is a cooperating witness? Well, I think that we should expect that he will ultimately be interviewed by the special counsel. I know that Senator Blumenthal uh, just said today that he wants the Senate Judiciary Committee to speak to Mr. Pence. If Mr. Pence, in fact, did know about what Mr. Flynn was doing in December, and he was not honest when on January 15th of this year he told Face the Nation that he didn't know anything about it, then he's going to be in a real catch-22 when he talks to Bob Mueller, when he talks to the Senate, because in both cases, should he lie, he would be charged with making false statements, much like Mike Flynn was and much like earlier George Papadopoulos was. And what do you make of uh, this sort of unique ability that Mike Pence has to sort of go MIA at all these key moments? He was at his son's wedding when Flynn was talking to Kisilak, uh, apparently visiting a homeless shelter in Indiana, uh, when Flynn and Kushner got wrapped up in that UN resolution over Israel, which proved to be very controversial. And he's been radio silent last week, at least, you know, when Flynn was pleading guilty for lying to the FBI. Well, you know, I saw a news article recently that said that either Mike Pence is a knave or he is naive, and I think it is one of the two. If he is naive, he is historically naive, because he kept himself aloof from the most important conversations that were happening on the presidential transition team that he was in charge of for 50 days. Or, in fact, he did know about these statements that were made by Michael Flynn to the FBI. He did know about what Michael Flynn was actually doing, and in that case, he really is going to find himself in some trouble when he sits down with Bob Mueller and when he sits down, uh, presumably, with the Senate Judiciary Committee at some point. Interesting days ahead for uh, the vice president, who we don't get to see a lot of. Uh, Seth, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you.